there are two bulbs of equal volumes containing ideal gas in that initially the pressure is found to be pi in each gas the temperature of each uh, cylinder present in the gas is also found to be t1 and these two uh, bulbs are connected through a narrow tube of negligible value the temperature of one of the bulb is raised from t1 to t2 then the final pressure pf of the connected jointed bulbs is how much the graphical presentation of the given problem yes there are two bulbs both are having equal capacity both are having same ideal gas and both are present at the same temperature t1 the pressure and the values present in the first and second bulbs p1 is the pressure v is the value now whatever the barricade is present between them if this barricade is opened this narrow vessel related barricade was opened as a result gas can move from one part to other part now suddenly what we made is one of the bulbs related temperature is raised to t2 not the t1 then you are asked to calculate pressure is an intensive property as being pressure is intensive it is same in all the two cases that final pressure it reaches which is greater than the initial pressure now you are asked to calculate the final pressure present in the cylinders when they are connected with a narrow negligible volume containing tube one is present at the temperature t1 one is at the temperature t2 both the volumes are v you are asked to calculate the final pressure this is a quite interesting question to solve this question we have to focus over ideal gas equation that is pv is equal to n into r into t here one is volume remains constant and second one is number of moles present in the system remains constant uh, whereas temperature varies as well as pressure varies so it is better to consider number of moles so n1 plus n2 initial will becomes equal to n1 plus n2 final because the amount quantity of the substance present from the beginning and on at the ending remains the same because no substance is getting added whereas if i write this n value will becomes equal to for the first cylinder that is p1 v by r into t1 plus second case that is p1 v by r into t1 that should becomes equal to the n1 plus n2 in the final case whereas final case n1 can be given by p final into v by r into that is t1 plus p final into v by r into that is t2 here the common terms like values on both the cases r on both the cases if i made it cancel we left with p1 by t1 p1 by t1 that is two times of p1 by t1 will becomes equal to here this becomes as pf if i make it as common then that will becomes as t1 plus t2 by t1 into t2 after doing the lc so therefore the final temperature here i am calculating the final temperature p final pressure pf pf will becomes equal to 2 times of p1 by t1 times of t1 t2 divided by t1 plus t2 t1 t2 divided by t1 plus t2 one of the t1 is getting cancelled thus it reaches to 2 times of p1 of t2 divided by t1 plus t2 is the final pressure present in the cylinder 1 as well as cylinder 2 because it is an intensive property